welcome to the Auto Today Show. My name is Dipayan Datta and today we are talking about the brand new Royal Enfield arrival coming out of Honda called the Honda Highness or the CB350. Well, let's start by getting into the design on the Honda Highness. Now, it is inspired by the Honda CBs of the past. As you can tell by the rounded design elements, the tank, the side panels and even the long approach to design. But let's take a closer look and we'll start at the front. So now I have a Honda Highness has been designed with the CB350s as the design inspiration. It has also been designed for India, in India, which means you get a lot of chrome, like this front mud, mud guard here. But on the brighter side of things, the front tyre is the widest and the 310mm disc is the widest you get in the segment. That aside, you also get this LED round headlamp which is a nice mix of retro and modern. Uh, another thing I really like is that the indicators as well are LEDs which really add to the premium finish that Honda is all about and Honda brings to the table in this thing. Now let's take a closer look at the, some of the features that you get with the Honda Highness 350 starting with this instrument cluster. Now it is a digi analog unit and for the most part it retains that really nice retro styling but you also get a digital readout with Bluetooth connectivity. Of course that will be more clear once Honda launched the app which is due to come in the weeks ahead. As of right now you do get Honda selectable top control which is an on and off function. You also get this e eco mode which basically indicates whether you're driving economically or not. But aside from that, doesn't really change the output. On to the most important part of the Honda Highness CB350, the motor. Now this is a brand new ground up 350cc long stroke motor that is unlike anything that Honda have done in India or anywhere in the world. Now obviously the benchmark has been set at the long stroke budget going on in India. So we have this long one motor that makes about 21 horsepower which is a far with the same but 13 nm of top which is a lot more than you get in the segment. And the important bit is the top kicks in at 3000 rpm which is considerably quicker than what you would have in the segment. Now another thing that Honda have done is concentrated on controlling vibrations. So this motor gets counterbalancers which will control vibrations and ensure that the ride is a whole lot smoother. Now finally the most important thing that comes with this engine is the exhaust mode. So let's turn her over and see what the Honda CB350 really sounds like. Now as you can see it is a classic long stroke motor but I love that crackle and pop at the end of it which probably comes from the upward tail and the single in expansion chamber right now if you're in the market for a classic motorcycle you're probably going to be wanting to spend a lot of hours on it and of course tour with it which means the riding position and the ergonomics become very important now starting off with the big news this Honda has it all right on paper which means it has the longest wheelbase, the most ground clearance and it also weighs the least. In fact, it weighs 14 kgs less than what the classic 350 does at 181 kilo. It also has the longest uh, fuel tank which is 15 liters which means you'll probably get the most range. But most importantly, let's talk about the ergonomics. The Honda CB350 has this really nice wide handlebar which is about 10 millimeters wider than what you would get on the classic 350 but as a result you get this really nice riding position. Uh, the mid-set foot pegs are uh, positioned nicely and I like the way the rider's triangle comes up right into the recesses and your knees fit in which will give you a nice grip of the tank. Another thing I really like about the Honda Highness CB350 is of course the seat which is uh, 
not too soft but not too firm either and has the right amount of cushion and it's probably going to be one of the things you're going to be glad about on a long ride. We hope you enjoyed our first look of the Honda CB350. Of course, a more detailed review will follow once we get a chance to get this motorcycle out on the road. And until then, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the Auto Today channel and hit that bell icon as well so you never miss out on the great automotive content that we put out regularly.